have some news about them as well. Can you meet me soon? I fear that some of what I uncovered has to do with you. For a moment, I already read this shit. By the room of requirement. Bye. Deke mentioned you might be interested in learning. I have been asked to teach you the exploding charm, Bombarda. Once you have completed the tasks I've set forth, speak to me after class. Yes, ma'am. Why am I not sprinting? I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Eh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? I'd like the room to feel Don't know. Mysterious, I'm just choosing shit. Eerie, as if I'm in the forbidden forest, surrounded by shadows. Hmm, sounds perfect. By shadows? That doesn't sound perfect. Sounds a little horrific. For fuck. Hello, Deke. You wanted to talk to me. Indeed. Uh, Deke thought you might want to learn how to build a breeding pen uh, so that you can breed beasts. That sounds like a very good idea. Rescuing and breeding beasts go hand in hand. Uh, young beasts are particularly vulnerable to poachers. Breeding beasts here in the room will allow us to keep the younger ones safe. I see. What do I need to do? First, bring a pair of beasts to the room. One male, one female. Deke suggests rescuing Thestrals, as I mean, they're at great risk from poachers. Does, does Deke think Noble creatures, stupid? but their relationship with death like gives them a one bad reputation. They're prized by Duh, poachers for their they tail like. hairs. I've seen Thestrals before, but where would I find a pair of them nearby? Deke has seen some wild Thestrals not too far from the Hogwarts grounds. Then, you'll need to purchase a spellcraft for the pen from Tomes and Scrolls and gather the materials it requires. I'm not trying to spend on bread, Once bro. you've rescued the Thestrals and you have the spellcraft, you come and find Deke. Don't I got allowance from you niggas? Oh wait, I can get potions and shit here, right? I've been studying Salazar Slytherin's spellbook. Meet me in the Undercroft. I found something. Well, why are people randomly hitting me up? Hey, yo. time looking about. Plenty of wonderful books to stoke a curious Shut mind up. like yours. All right, so we gotta craft. I mean, we gotta buy the breeding pen spellment. A spellment? What the? F what the fuck did I see that at? I'm bugging. A spellcraft to conjure a breeding pen to breed beasts in your vivarium. Let's purchase that. Now I can conjure a breeding pen in the room. Let's get back to Deke with the Thestrals. Wait, since I'm, since I got a little bit of coin on me, let's let's read these. The rest of them. Beast feeder unlocks the ability to control a beast feeder. Place one to make sure your beasts are kept fed. Unlocks the ability to control material. Find it. Use it. Da -da -da. I didn't say we were three medium pots. Spellcraft. Bro, I brought some extra shit. I don't even know what it is for. I just spent the money because I had it. I've rescued the Thestrals and bought the spellcraft for the pen. I have to spend Excellent. $1,500 now, too. To breed your Thestrals, simply release them into the same vivarium in which you conjure the pen. Then use the pen to start the process. Come and see Deke when you're finished. I shall. Why does I nigga talk about about in a third person? Pen. Nigga, this area was there the whole time? Shaking Deep my head. never grows tired of the room's surprises. We now have the perfect place for those Thestrals. Please let Deep know once you've bred them. Are you not walking inside with me? I guess not, bitch. All right, manage beasts. So we're about to breed some beasts. I'm sure... I can't tell which one's a male or female. But let's add each beast. Um... Okay, what am I supposed to do? Is this nigga knocked? Is that a... I just collected hair. How do I make this pen? Like, how do I make this fucking pen? Okay, so I'm, I'm, I figured it out. Fucking finally. It legit took me 20 minutes. I, that's not good. That's not good. What the fuck is this? What the hell? 
Okay, well, how do we get them in there? Release beasts in order to breed them? Beasts can be rescued in the highlands. Huh? Yo! How do I get him in here? Wait. Where are you going? You better go in there. I can't drop the item. The motherfucker left. How the hell do I get him in there, though? Bitch, go inside! How am I supposed to get him inside? So I guess I'm supposed to just fucking leave? Yeah. Uh, this nigga's knocked out. Yeah, I'm out. I'm gonna let y'all do y'all thing, man. Bitch, get in there! It was born like that? Damn! So do I wait all this fucking time? Yeah, bro. I'm gonna start another mission and then come back to that. Due to this fucking breeding time, I'm doing another mission. Smoke weed every day. I mean you no harm. Assignment's all finished. Word. Now I can go learn this um, spell. What? I don't know which one it is. Yo. Wait. You can, you can advance time by pressing. I'm the first one here, nigga. Yeah. We're doing another mission. Wait until that animal breeds. That shit look crazy. Excellent work today. Class dismissed. Or just like that? Ugh. Can't say I'm. I take it you're ready to learn your new spell. Mm hmm. I completed your assignment, Professor. I'm ready to learn Bombarda now. Bombarda. Good. Now, this spell comes with a caveat. It should only be used when necessary. The exploding charm, as you might suspect, can hurt people. Use caution when casting it. I ain't using no caution. I will, Professor. I will hold you to that promise. Now, you must be precise in your wand movements. We don't want you blowing your hand off. Go ahead. Damn, is that strong? Nice and steady wand movements. Remember, the exploding charm gotcha. is highly volatile. Wait, what? Goodness. New spell well Bombara. Now, let us put it into practice, shall we? Go ahead and try it on the pump. Got you. Let me switch something. Let's see. No, oh, oops. Professor, might I have a moment? Yes. What is it? How do I use the Bombara? I was wondering. Yo! You'll never believe what I've learned. What did you discover in the spellbook we found in the scriptorium? Salazar Slytherin's spellbook was a little difficult to interpret, but fascinating. Evidently, he encouraged teaching dark magic at Hogwarts. Neither the Imperious Curse nor the Killing Curse was unforgivable during his time. He believed students should be prepared to use dark magic when necessary, not to fear it. That's why we had to use Crucio to gain access to the scriptorium. He didn't want his knowledge shared with anyone who was afraid of the power of dark magic. It was hard to do, but casting Crucio was our only option. And I'm glad we did it, because in the spellbook I also found something else. References to a lost relic, which, from what I can tell, grants the holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. And you think this relic might be able to save Anne? Precisely. I plan to search for this relic, but I don't think we should tell anyone. Especially ominous. He wouldn't understand. I see no reason to involve ominous. I'm glad you agree. When I know more, I shall send an owl. And don't feel sorry for ominous. Keeping this to ourselves for now is for his own good. I'll decide what's for my own good. Damn! Ominous. We were just about to get some air. Care to join? You're a liar, Sebastian. 
I heard everything. You swore you'd never engage in anything to do with dark magic again. No, I didn't. I said I understood you wanting that. I'd never swear to give up on finding a cure for Anne. You don't know when to stop, do you? I know when not to stop. Leave this alone, Ominous. I'll be on my way. Uh oh. This dude always hearing. I am not letting this go. Let me talk to this dude. What's up, bro? Ominous. Sebastian meant well. I know what I heard. You knew I wouldn't agree with this. Going after that relic is not a good idea. Sebastian doesn't even realize it, but he's as irresponsible and reckless now as his parents were years ago. Whoa. It's why they died. I need to know that. I knew his parents died, but I never heard what happened. Mr. and Mrs. Sallow were professors. Spent nearly every waking moment in the cellar library. Noses buried in books. Anne and Sebastian were upstairs when it happened. They heard a sudden crash and ran downstairs, but it was too late. Their parents had crumpled to the floor. A defect with the lamp in the cellar caused the room to fill with an undetectable toxin. Sebastian and Anne were helpless. They had no magic yet. What a horrible story. It is. That's why I can't understand Sebastian's recklessness. I've practically lost Anne. I cannot lose Sebastian too. Please avoid anything to do with that spell book. Damn, bro. Let me... Some references Sebastian mentioned in the book do worry me. I'm glad you understand. I hope Sebastian pursues this no further. But if you think he might, please let me know. It would mean a lot. Got you, bro. Psych! Who the hell is homie? Oh, that, that's Sebastian. I got 12 minutes for this motherfucker to fully breathe. I'm gonna start this mission. Who have you did? I always wake up on the floor whenever I'm waiting. That's crazy. How are you taking a good nap like that in this type of environment? High wing's fine. I'm keeping an eye on her. She's safe, Poppy, I promise. Good. Whatever the poachers are up to, I want High Wing far from it. You said you had news about the poachers and that some of it had to do with me. It did. I overheard them talking in the hogshead and did you know that they have orders from Victor Rookwood to capture you on sight? Yeah, I did. Does this have anything to do with Rookwood and Harlow coming for you in the three broomsticks after the troll attack? It does, somewhat. But at the moment, I'm more concerned about what else you heard the poachers are up to. Fair enough. But I hope you'll let me know if I can be of help, especially after what you did for Highwing. Does the name Hauntel Hall mean anything to you? I'm afraid not. Why? What is it? The poachers best kept secret, apparently. The name came up twice, but they never went into detail. I also overheard one of them bragging about all the gold they're making, at the expense of innocent creatures, undoubtedly. The poachers spoke of this area, and I thought if we searched around a bit, it might give us clues as to what they're doing. If you ever meet my gran, this trip never happened. Damn. Not to worry, Poppy. If I ever meet your gran, I shall not speak a word of this. I normally tell her everything. She might be my best friend after Highwing, but she knows how I feel about the poachers. I think she worries I'll do something ill-advised. Whatever gave her that idea? Whatever gave this her that way. idea? Which way are we going? Why am I walking? There we go. A centaur. Tread carefully. Oh, I, I just ri yeah, I just noticed these dudes. An entire castle to roam, yet you choose to wander here. Please, we don't want any trouble. We're simply passing through. Do you take us for fools? Damn. That we do not notice more and more of your kind around here, in league with the poachers. We aren't involved with them. If anything, we want to see them stopped. I hope for your sake that is true. Our kind is swiftly losing patience with the poachers and those they work with. Let me just walk through here, bro. I don't want no beef. No beef. No beef. What if I... No, I'm not going to. He was certainly a charmer. Nigga, what are you stuck on? Could have gone worse. Yo. I'm all nervous. That's why I got stuck. But why would he think that we had anything to do with poachers? 
I did notice the poachers talking with a few villagers in Hogsmeade. I'm not sure why. Perhaps that's why the centaurs are suspicious. Oh! No! Behaves out violently. Damn, dog! I wasn't expecting that. Unusual lately. Goodness. That too. It's almost like there's something in the water. Yeah, that monster. Why are we walking again? This is odd. What is it? Why am I skipping rocks during this? Sure, but look around. If the poachers were here, perhaps we can find out why. All right. Revelio. Do the Revelio. <gasps> Investigate. Why wouldn't they take their cages with them when they left? Investigate. Pelt. It looks warm. Poor beasts. Still smoking. They can't have been gone long. What they got in his bag, though? What else we got? Dang. Did I really just drink that? Nigga, you don't even know if it's piss or not. This is goblin metal. Seems out of place in a poacher camp. I should tell Poppy about it. Let's go. Let's tell Poppy about it. Anything interesting? Nope. Poachers were here. All sorts of evidence. But I found something else. It's goblin made. I found goblin armor. Let's keep searching, but carefully. Merlin only knows what's going on here. Carefully. I don't have a good feeling about this. Me neither. Me neither. How do goblin and poacher interests align? I'm not oh, sure. Down there. Definitely poachers. Down where? No creatures, oh. though. So what are they doing out here? Let's take a closer look. Shit, am I fighting? be happy to see us. Should we use disillusionment? Or perhaps a less discreet approach? Uh, Hard to say from up here. Let's get a better lay of the land. I think we should use brutal force, to be honest with you. Where's my invisible cloak? Lumos. Lumos. I'm using Lumos. I am ridiculous, bro. Yep, sure is. Can't figure out why I'm not going to put you in danger. Poaching. There's enough dumb beasts for everyone. I'll fight them after, because I know we're going to have to fight them regardless. And if I get spotted, I'm fucked. They come after me. Oh, wait. Rest in ten graves. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <gasps> Fuck! Damn it! We just gotta beat their ass. Come on. Fuck you! Whoa! I forgot how to use my health! Give me a bitch, motherfucker. Yeah. Ah! Shut up. Oh, it did. I got you, though. I, I don't know how I failed that. <laughs> ah. They were guarding the minister for magic himself. What is going on here? Who knows? Only one way to find out. I tried to be stealthy. I tried. Didn't work out. Didn't work out. What in Merlin's name? Are those dragons? The fact that tent looks so small, and when you open it, this is what you get. This is illegal! Dragon fighting ring. This is Horntel Hall. The name makes sense now, and secrecy. No wonder the poachers were in Hogsmeade so much. Likely taking bets and spreading the word, given how crowded it is here. How could they possibly enjoy this? The centaurs have every right to be disgusted with wizard kind. There must be more dragons here. The poachers are far too greedy to run a fighting ring with only two dragons. We should take advantage of most eyes being in the fight and look around. But be discreet. You especially can't afford to be spotted. Yeah, you got that. You got that. More hushed than a 
thought Victor was sinking straight in a barber with him. Which way should I should I go down here? Maybe. What I was gonna do is try to distract the guard upstairs. Have you heard from your family? Is even of your brothers come round to our way of thinking? Will they join us? Ah, they say we go too far. The violence is gonna get us what just, we just, want. Just walk straight. I, say, I don't even want to watch. Every last wizard is run through with a blade. Is she behind me? me yeah, Poppy's right there. I want to see some of this action, yo. Hold on. Okay, okay. I'm putting some money down. What's going on? Did you hear the goblins? Ramrock and the poachers must be. Damn, they're torturing the homie. Something's going on behind you. What's going on down there? They're torturing the dragon. They must have only just captured her. She's putting up quite a fight. That's a fair one, though. Not with her chained up like that. Let's even her up, shall we? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. We want this to fight. Look, they've got a dragon egg. Hebridean from the looks of it. So let's steal it. We can't leave it here. Not with the plans they likely have for it. We're taking everything. Apples, coins. Rebellion. But why am I walking again? I hate that. Uh, let's do this real quick. Uh, yeah. Bro, Ready. The elements of surprise will only buy us a few seconds. We really just stole a dragon egg. Let's make them count. Wait a minute, wait a minute. That's it. Careful! Rock, here we go, here we go. Nigga. Let's go. Oh shit, shit, shit. He didn't see nothing. One of you dying, nigga. Oh, all of them. That's lit. So now we just gotta get this fucker. Fuck you, nigga. Yeah. Hey, rat. That was a light pack. Oh, whoa, whoa. You're the one for, you? You're about to die. Something menu lose abilities for weakness. I didn't even want to use it on this dumbass. Like the total dragons, do you? Damn, he got it bad just now. Psych, dummy. Boom. Why is it? Hold on, hold on. <coughs> Damn, that wiped her out. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just hitting this nigga. You dead? No? <coughs> oh, wait. Oh! I didn't do nothing. We don't have time. We need to free her now before more show up. Yeah, let's go. Or, or do I gotta Hold on. How am I gonna What am I doing? That didn't do nothing. What the? F Arrest the momentum. Descend them. Don't. Whoa! How do I free the dragon? Thank you.
you better not turn on me. I helped you. This may have been a bad idea. I suppose we'll find out. You didn't even care about us. Or did you know we can block? Get out of here. I'm guessing the egg we have belongs to that dragon. I don't think she knew they had her egg. She wouldn't have left without it. What now? She didn't exactly leave us a calling card. I, I don't know. Nothing about this day was expected. Not the goblins and definitely not the fighting ring. The last thing I planned on was a dragon egg. And the poachers saw us, which cannot be good. Bro, we bodied them. Should we expect trouble from the poachers, given the trouble we just caused? It'd be foolish not to expect it. They're not a forgiving lot. I'm sorry to say that you likely have a larger target on your back now because of what we just did. Man, I had a target that was bigger than what it is. Since the dragon we freed flew off, does that mean we get to keep the egg? I'd much rather we have it than the poachers, at least for now. But I don't think we should keep it indefinitely. It'll be hard hiding something like this from Professor Weasley for long. We aren't helping ourselves standing here. Let's get to safety. We can sort this out later. You're right. If there's anything the poachers are good at, it's tracking their prey. And right now, we're it. Be careful, won't you? I shall see you back at the castle. Word. It's Rebellion. Time. After you've completed the required tasks, which I'm certain will prove useful in finishing your field guide, attend my class to learn the new spell. Afterwards, we will discuss your progress thus far in the term. Yes, ma'am. Uh, let's go check on uh, that animal that's breeding. Where's baby girl at? Baby girl. Oh, look at the baby. Look at the offspring. Let me feed you. And let me feed you. And of course feed you. I should have fed you first. Hello, Deke. You'll be pleased to know that a little Thestral was born. How wonderful to have more Thestrals in our world. Such misunderstood beasts. I'm sorry that we can both see Thestrals, Deke. Deke is privileged to see such majestic beasts. But sometimes wishes Deke couldn't. Deke is to blame. What do you mean to blame? Years ago, Deke's master ordered Deke to help him capture a phoenix, the rarest of all beasts that master had spotted high on a cliff. The phoenix was the most beautiful beast Deke had ever seen. Deke begged master to leave her be. When Deke hesitated to climb up the cliff as ordered, Deke had to punish himself. As Deke punished himself, master grew angrier and angrier, and in his frustration cast at the regal bird. Deke suspects the phoenix was protecting eggs when it swooped down in fear and fury. Before Deke could reach him, Master fell from the cliff. Deke stayed on that cliffside for days, punishing himself before Tobbs found him. What a horrible tale, Deke. I'm so sorry. Deke has only told Professor Weasley that story, and now yourself. Deke often wonders what became of that phoenix. Deke feels fortunate to be at Hogwarts now, helping you rescue beasts. Perhaps Deke can make amends for what came before. 
Um, I don't know what to say to that. All right, well, so now we got to meet the professor. Uh, what's her name? Weasley. All right, let's go meet her. See what she's up to. Collect the field guide page in the underground harbor. What? So this is the underground harbor. Yo, how do I open these chests right here? Oh, do I used to use disenchanted? Let me see. Because I don't remember how to open it. I know I did before. Okay, yeah, that is how you do it. Got you. My mother would like to speak with me. I believe she has learned about some of what we've been up to. I'm hoping she may be easier on me if you are there. Can we meet to the three Why does everybody hit me up during this? Be safe since we rescued like, the let me try to find this shit. Home. Leave me alone. That book Professor Weasley asked me to find should be. Looking for the book Intermediate Transfiguration. Oh my God, do you have it? Professor Weasley asked me to uh, uh get something from that book. May I have it? Did she now? I'll give you this book if. You humor me by answering a few questions from my quiz. Oh quiz. my gosh. Some people call bits of knowledge trivia. I would argue that no knowledge is trivial. I'm not that Hence, smart. I have created a small quiz just for fun, focusing mainly on the law of the wizarding world. None of the other students will try it no matter how many times I ask. They all say they have enough with schoolwork. Oh, they don't value knowledge the way I do. Surely you're interested. I'll even start you off with a few of my easiest questions. She said, surely I'm interested. Oh my gosh. A quiz sounds like fun. Splendid. Just a few questions and then I'll hand over this book. Let us begin. Before the invention of the golden snitch, which magical creature was used in a game of Quidditch? I don't even know, bro. I don't even know. That's what's crazy. The snake bird, the go you know, I'm going with the middle one. I don't know. Golden Snidget. Correct. Oh! The Snidget was first introduced to Quidditch in 1269 by a wizard named Barbarous Bragg. Sadly, they're thought to be extinct. Next question. Which potion is commonly referred to as liquid luck? What? Felix Felicis. Well done. Yo, I'm beasting it right now. Temporarily lucky. Felix Felicis is a banned substance in all organized competitions. The tale of the three brothers involves which magical artifacts? I I have no idea. Oh, th let me guess this the one. The Deathly Hallows. Correct. Hey. Beedle the Bard. The Deathly Hallows consists of the Elder Wand, the Resurrection Stone, and the Cloak of Invisibility. Which ball in Quidditch? You said three largest? questions. You said three questions. The snitch. I'm sorry. Thank you. But the correct answer was the quaffle. When a chaser throws the quaffle, yeah, she said three questions. Three hoops in a Quidditch match. Their team is awarded ten points. True or false? Polyjuice potion allows That's the true. to change species. True. Actually, the Fuck. answer was false. While Polyjuice potion can be used to change things such as age or race, it cannot be used to change species. Well, I suppose this has gone on long enough. I'll put the book back on the pedestal. Yeah, because I got three out of five, uh, five right. Your knowledge again, I have plenty more questions I could ask you. And I won't be giving you any more easy questions either. The next one Excuse will be me? more difficult. I ain't coming back then. I, I'm sorry. I don't have time for a quiz at the moment. Let me know if you change your mind. I'm out. Where's the book at, yo? I'll put the book back on the pedestal for you. Thank you. Revelio would be a at this. What's this? Don't care. Give me the book. Professor Weasley's tasks are complete. I should attend Transfiguration. Did I get the book? Whatever. Uncle Roland sends his best. He often asks after you and his owl. Are you talking to me? Beautiful. Goodness. Settle down. Settle down. Transfiguration, as you may be weary of hearing me say, 
is an exact science that can take a lifetime to master. But we needn't be daunted. Almost anything can be transformed if you can just perceive the potential within it. As I see in all of you, tremendous witches and wizards, every one of you. Or it could just be my eyesight. Now, you all know what to do. Bang, bang, bang. Beautifully done. Class is dismissed. And remember, now is not the time to ease off your studying. OWLs will be here before you know it. You wanted to discuss my progress so far this term, Professor. I did. You seem to have had no trouble in getting up to speed. And frankly, excelling in your schoolwork this year. Thank you, Professor. The extra assignments have been helpful. As I suspected they would be. Now, it seems you've been making excellent use of the opportunities presented by your field guide. Of course, the guide isn't the only measure of success. I've heard that you can brew an impressive Edurus potion. Hopefully, you won't need it anytime soon, but it is a valuable potion to have when it is needed. Thank you, Professor. I will say I'm especially impressed with all you've accomplished in light of the rumors of your extracurricular activities. Was your extended conversation with Mr. Ollivander after you'd obtained your wand or subsequent search of the Owlery connected in any way to Professor Fig? I don't even remember, so... I like her, so you know what? Professor Fig has encouraged me to explore when I can in uh, an effort to complete my field guide. I see. I admire your penchant for learning, but do remember that your classwork and field guide are designed to educate you thoroughly. It'll be the end of the year in no time, and you'll want to be well prepared for your OWLs. I'll provide a final assessment at that time to ensure that you're ready for your exams. Until then, well done. You are dismissed. If you wish to practice the spell you just learned, the training dummy is available. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Glad to see you were paying close attention to my death. Something dawned on me about the triptych. Meet me at the Overlook, just north of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll explain. But I have another idea. I think we may be able to find what we need at a goblin mine south of Hogwarts. Meet me there. Bring someone who speaks gobbledygook. What? Not sure why. I remember our meet mentioning something about gobbledygook. Hello, Gareth. So, has your aunt been taking it a bit easier on you lately? Unfortunately, no. In fact, a few days ago, she gave me a detention. I was only testing a new recipe in a mostly empty classroom, and the fire was put out quick enough. If you're setting things on fire, then perhaps you ought to rethink your choices. That's exactly what Aunt Matilda said. Can't let the doubters sway me. When they taste my latest brew, they'll forget their criticisms and the fires. It'll be bigger than butterbeer. Oh, that gives me an idea. Better write it down. Best of luck to you. <laughs> 